Hi again, everybody. Thanks uh, for joining us on Celebrating Act Two for Gray Matters. This is where Art and I share our favorite things we've found, uh, favorite websites we've found, and uh, give you links to them so you can live your life uh, with a little bit more fun, more uh, help, something like that. Art, why are we doing this? I don't know, John. Well, that was a pretty good introduction. Actually, well, we look for all sorts of interesting things. My first thing here is that I right. ran across an insurance company that uh, was uh, uh, promoting, I guess, uh, Medicare insurance or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but what they did was they provided some interesting stuff. So in this particular case, it was um, uh, Facebook pages. They called the 10 best Facebook pages uh, uh, for seniors. Um, and it's kind of interesting. Um, uh, the first thing they have here is something called Senior Planet. Uh, uh, they have a travel thing for both domestic and foreign travel. Kind of interesting. I took a look at that. Uh, here, delicious recipes. Uh, uh, and you can go on, on Facebook and if you have, you can save it and you su subscribe to it if you want. You may find some of the stuff that's really interesting, giving you some variety. Um, uh, uh, another one to, talking about, you know, maybe you're the last surviving uh, a person in your in your family. So how, how can you age your loan? It's, and these things are not necessarily uh, dating uh, apps uh, of any kind, but it's just giving hints for people with different variety of backgrounds. I found uh, for mine, and I joined this group called Plant Based Over 50. Uh, it's a, a vegetarian leaning site. And, and it, it perfect took, for you, you're a vegetarian. Right, but I'm already one. This one was more designed for people who are thinking about switching from being meat eaters and things like that to becoming vegetarian after the age of 50. And I actually was pretty much in that uh, boat many, many, many decades ago. Uh, yeah. But if you're first thinking about it now, and a lot of people are much more aware of that these days, this is a great place because they'll help ease you through it. You know, we've learned a long time ago that you have to have sugar and, and uh, sodium and everything. And yeah. We grew up that way. So if you decide you want to try and make a change, this is a great site to do that. So yeah. the bottom the bottom line for this is that it's a uh, interesting site. Show uh, me show me the top of it again, uh, uh, the top of the web sure. page. Uh -huh. It's uh, and of course we put these links to to everything we have found that we're recommending. Right. We put the links down below uh, the video. Right. In the uh, description section. Right. But this one is the United insurance.com or myunitedinsurance.com and it's it recommends 10 best facebook pages right and, and there, are, there are others but that's this, great i found it fascinating and this what john and i do is we go around and we we're constantly searching uh, the internet for things that we think might be interesting to people in our uh, age groups and go, so go we, to we share our, them with you. go to the browser if you would art show us the browser with us in there uh, Oh, us? Yeah, us in the browser. I thought I did. Your browser. There you go. That's okay. what <laughs> That's yeah. what I was looking for. Okay. So what I wanted to explain to people is that, uh, and this is interesting that you and I should uh, do something similar. I was searching for um, hobbies for seniors, oh. and I got something very similar. I got a an insurance company. Right. And I don't know if their insurance company is called Everdays or whatever it is, but this is what I got. And as I read this, it's their blog. Scroll down and you'll see the first article. So here's an insurance company website, 40 best hobbies for seniors. That's exactly what I was looking for. Great article, by the way. Want to hit read and, um, and jump over there? And it wasn't until I started reading the article that I realized this is an insurance website and it's more that here's the insurance pitch, right? Keep going down. And before you get to the actual article that you want, they give you the opportunity to call them or sign up, talk to them about insurance. Um, so go back to, if you can go back to the um, previous page or maybe go to their products. Yeah, there you go. Go to their products art. And I wanted to talk about insurance a little bit for seniors. 
even though, of course, what I recommend is I recommend this page because they have other before we go to products, scroll up uh, or scroll down to the next page. There you go. They have a lot of good articles. And all I, I found was that these insurance companies obviously want to get your attention by giving you good information. And for seniors, I think this is a great way to, to find information. And now is, go to products. Well, you really want to go to products? You know, let, let the people uh, find it themselves. The link will well, be down there. I, here's, here's what yeah. I wanted to say about the insurance companies. They, they draw you in with good information, and that's fine. It's a legitimate way to get you to pay attention to them. But as seniors, you know, you get to a certain age where you can't possibly afford the insurance. You're 75 years old. You can't get life insurance because you might die at 82. That's the age that the, the actuarials say we're going to die at, right? No, so that's, you have that's, to, that's, 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 yeah, because I, be I and some of my healthier cohorts out in the audience uh, have a longer. We've got a twenty-five year rolling plan. I know you're going to live to one hundred and fifty. It's right. But here's my caution to all our people and who are over fifty and are looking at insurance websites because they provide lots of interesting information. My caution is: be careful when you go to a website that's sponsoring the information you like mm -hmm. because their products may or may not be right for you. That's all my, that's my caution. This particular uh, ever, ever day, uh, they specialize in insurance for seniors. Right. Now, maybe their products are good, maybe they're not, but everybody has to make their own decision. So I just caution everybody about insurance for seniors, because in some cases, it's that's not practical. Right, and, and but the, the real thing is with all these sites there, many of them are sponsored by... Uh, uh, money-making organizations, uh, insurance, of course. what have you. But the articles are interesting nevertheless. I never would have heard about that Facebook page on uh, uh, vegetarians or right. some of the others that are there that are quite interesting. Right. So let's move on. Yeah. Let's move on to one that I found, which could also possibly be of interest to uh, 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 some of the people in the audience, which is okay. on assisted living. Now, this is a U.S. News and World uh, Report website. Yep. Uh, and um, uh, they have advertising, which is fine. Uh, but here is how to finance assisted living. And the interesting thing is that many of us are going to have to uh, start um, uh, thinking about this uh, as we're living longer lives. And yeah. uh, it's most people don't realize what Medicare does and doesn't cover, doesn't cover a whole lot. And if you didn't buy assisted living, uh, 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 insurance at an early young age, it's probably beyond the reach of most people now. And it gets very expensive. Anyway, what they do yeah. is they go through um, uh, quite a bit of the background information. So while you still have all your faculties together, or maybe between you and your partner, if you both have 50% of your faculties together, read it together and find out what are some of the options that uh, you have there. And um, um, it's just interesting, um, and it gives you a lot of things to begin to think about, write down, and maybe speak to your children about, or what have you, what to do further investigation. So anyway, yeah. this is, a, 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 again, an interesting site that I, I found that uh, I enjoyed reading, um, because, you know, who knows, I may be involved in that someday myself. Yeah. Yeah, it, you know what, that... I think it's a really valuable one about assisted living. That's a difficult subject yeah. uh, for seniors. And uh, boy, it'd be great if we could all afford it, but we can't. Uh, Art, go to the next tab and I'll show you what I came up with. Here's a guy. Here's a guy. Um, in fact, do me a favor. Go to the full page and show me the column on the right hand side. Um, under sign the petition. Scroll, scroll that. And you'll see that he's got a bunch of videos. Long hairstyles after 50. He does a lot of videos for people over 50, women over 50. He's a famous hairstylist. His name is Justin Hickox. And um, uh, let's see, if you can, uh, we've got the video up. Yeah, you go want me to, to uh, Yeah, go to the, the first spot I had was 329. And um, 
he's he makes a nice video. If you're over 50, time to get your hair cut short. And and um, his he does great examples. What I liked about this is a guy. I like the fact that he's explaining um, why women over 50 shouldn't wear long hair or how to do it. I, I did, he kind of demystified the the feminine technique fi, f, mystique for me. <laughs> so as a guy, I enjoyed it. But it's a cute video, and quite frankly, it's really practical. If you're a woman over 50, I would recommend all of his videos. Um, he really knows what he's talking about, and he gives you reasons for it. And of course, he illustrates them nicely. Go to um, uh, 357, which is uh, his last tip and why you shouldn't have long hair uh, after 50. And it's basically because styles change. We all remember uh, uh, the hairdos <laughs> of the 40s and the 60s and the whatever. So uh, it's a wonderful video. And this guy is really a good expert. I recommend it, obviously, for women. Uh, it's not made for guys, but I got a, I got a kick out of it. Really enjoyed kind of going behind the scenes of uh, uh, women's grooming, if you will. Well, I decided, <laughs> by the way, I thank you for this job because I, I took a look at the site and I decided not to grow a ponytail. <laughs> so anyway, why, yeah. don't you, why don't you leave us on a happier note? Yeah, a good idea. This is uh, the back pew. Um, and uh, uh, Jeff Larson is a famous cartoonist, and he has a whole website of his cartoons. So you should, you should, uh, we'll have the link down below. You should go. I love this particular cartoon. Hubba Hubba says the guy, and the woman's uh, pitter patter, pitter patter. <laughs> Seniors in love, your love is more delightful than wine. Um, this is sort of, this is sort of like. Hallmark e kind of channel. Uh, yeah. yeah. A little bit closer to the pews. But it, I guess it is the back pew because it's sort of like, you know, church and and uh, religious institution well, related. Yeah. yeah. They're all kind of semi religious uh, themed cartoons. Right. But they're all very human and very funny. So have a great week. Try some of our connections that we, we're listing down below. Hopefully, they're going to help you live life a little better, have a little bit more fun, and um, be really useful, I think, most of them. Right. So we'll be back again next week with uh, some more links that we found that were interesting to us. We'll share them with you, and hopefully uh, some of them will uh, give you some information that you can use um, uh, to make your life better. We'll see you soon. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.